Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FICU module. So now we will be continuing the asset accounting unit testing part. In the last training session we created the asset master and we seen how an asset master can be created. How we can make changes to the asset master and how it can be displayed for the informations in the asset master. So now what we'll be doing is we will be executing the different transactions as per the different key business processes. So we'll now go to asset acquisition that is external acquisition with vendor. The transaction code for that is M-90. So we'll execute and we'll, we'll acquire an asset from the vendor. So the transaction that is F-90 now will be executing f-90 so you can see the screen the header itself says acquisition from purchase with vendor header data so over here you need to take the document date suppose I purchase the asset on 1 6 2014 at an earlier date So you need to select the document date, document type, company code, posting date, period, then the currency or the rate. Here you can put the reference, asset, purchase, even in the header you can put anything or even in the reference you can put the bill number suppose I take the bill number over here as 8754 and in the header text you can write asset purchase now moving down to the posting key the posting key 31 refers to the vendor with this the vendor account is credited so when we book when we book an asset invoice against the asset purchase the normal journal entry which is done is asset account gets debited and the vendor accounts get credited so for crediting the vendor the posting key 31 is used so over here now we will selecting a vendor over here in this account continue so over here you can find that these are the two vendors defined in the company code so we can select one of the vendor suppose I take a TCS as the vendor so once you have taken this now you can enter on the screen and it will take you to the next screen enter so now you can put the amount at which you purchase that particular asset so the amount suppose I take it as fifty thousand dollars in case there is any tax amount involved you can take the tax code over here as well suppose I take the tax code over here as well uh, so we are purchasing so there will be an input tax will be imposed and suppose the input tax involved over here is of 8% so I will be taking V8 as a tax percentage and we can con uh, select this calculate tax option over here in case you have a business area you can define your business area as well and even you can put the text so purchase asset from TCS so now as of now we have only taken the posting key 31 over here for crediting the vendor so we have not taken anything for debit side so now we will be taking the debit side for debiting the asset we need to use the posting key so which posting key we will be taking now let's see so for debiting the asset we need to go to the posting key debit asset that is 7070 
so 70 posting key and over here we need to select the asset in which asset we are purchasing so out of these assets suppose I am purchasing a motor so I will select the motor double click so that has been selected so once you have taken this particular motor is purchased from the vendor TCS now I need to go to the T type that is the transaction type and in the transaction type I need to select a transaction always whenever an asset is purchased or asset is retired in any transaction so now this asset which we are acquiring is an external asset so for external acquisition the transaction type is 100 so you need to select 100 over here always otherwise you will not the system will not allow you to proceed to the next screen so once you have taken this enter so the system asks you for the TDS so is any TDS to be deducted if you want to deduct you can proceed and the system will deduct the TDS on the invoice amount so once that has been done you can put the amount over here as well for the debit side you can put the text again and once you have taken all those things now you can go and you can go to this document over here on the top and you can go to the simulate entry over here so once I simulate it will show me the preview of the entry which will be posted so you can see the entry which it will take place is TCS $50,000 and the asset is this which will be debited with $50,000 so if you find this entry to be ok you can go and you can save this screen and the system will allow you to post the invoice so now I have done that and you can see the document 100039 was posted in the company code 1200 so now if you want to see the same document again on the screen we can go to the document to display over here and we can display the transacts the document posted again so over here you can check that the, the vendor over here credited with $50,000 and the asset has been debited with $50,000 so this is your asset and this is your entry view if you want you can see the general ledger view of this as well so the general ledger view shows you that the TCS belongs to the domestic vendor the GL account for the or the account for the domestic vendor is 200001 and the asset which we purchased that is 300000 that is motor belongs to the account 100022 that is a plant and machinery ledger account so this is how you need to acquire the assets so once you have acquired we are done with the second unit testing that is F-90 so now we can even go and we can check the vendor ledger account for this posting as well that is FBL1N and you can execute the transaction you can see that the second entry belongs to the one which we just posted so this is the entry which we just have posted over here if you want to see that you can go to this display document and in the header you can see the entry date that is 5 12 2014 which says that the document has been posted just now So now moving to the next is that is F-90 now even when we have purchased the assets we would like to see the asset value so we can go to AS03 now we can enter so this was motor so if you want to see the value of the 
motor you can go to this option over here assets values click on it so once you click on to it it will take you to the screen over here and you can see that the APC transaction of 50,000 is reflecting over here so the acquisition value is 50,000 whereas the ordinary depreciation is 10,416 why so? Because we have acquired this asset on 1st of September. So the system has, has calculated the depreciation as per the depreciation key assigned. So over here, when you move to this over here in this, you can see the transaction details has been also reflected that this transaction value date is 1-6-2014. The amount is $50,000. The transaction type is 100. That means external asset is acquired. If you want to see the document from over here, you can double click on it. It will take you to the details over here and you can see the transaction. The document by which that particular $50,000 transaction took place. So this is or even there is a different transaction code also over here that is asset explorer. So that is asset explorer. Now we can go to even to the ex asset explorer with the transaction code AW01N. It is the same thing which we just have seen AW01N enter and here you can select the asset. Even you can select a different asset over here as well. But as of now, no transaction has took place in any of the assets. So you will not find any values in any other assets. So we'll be taking this motor over here. Enter. And you can see the values in this case. The same which we just have seen. And if you want, you can see the previous year values as well by dragging over here. So there is no time period between 14 and 24 because there is no asset in 2013 that is the last year so it will not take you to the last year as there was no value involved so this is the plan value plan value means the ordinary depreciation which is reflecting over here is the planned depreciation this is not the actual depreciation which has been posted so you can go to the second tab as well posted values so in the posted value you can see that the posted value only is fifty thousand dollars because only the fifty thousand dollars of transaction document has been posted in the system whereas the doc the depreciation posted and planned these all depreciation are planned in the screen so with the help of this asset explorer even you can see that it shows you the different depreciation which will be charged on the on the system so these are planned once these will be executed these will get posted to the system even we can go to the comparisons in the comparison part it shows you the depreciation for different years assigned over here and on the basis of that their net book value has also been reflected so the net book value is the acquisition value minus the ordinary depreciation is equal to the net book value so you can go to the parameter over here as well and the parameter you can see that the depreciation key assigned to this asset is A012 that is the depreciation key for 12% the ordinary depreciation start date is 1-4-2014 and further if you want to see you can go to display depreciation key you can go and you can display the depreciation key with this display depreciation key option over here so we don't need to do go for that so this is how you can go and you can check the asset values through the asset explorer so we are done with the first part that is asset acquisition as a direct purchase. 
so we cannot go for a purchase from the mm module because we don't have the uh, luxury of uh, the mm module in uh, at the moment so what we did is we acquired an asset directly in the system from the finance and accounts department and executed the process so the next process belongs to is as is asset transfer asset transfer means basically transferring one asset to the another asset so suppose the aw01n now this particular asset of 50000 which was purchased i want to transfer it to a different asset now so to which asset i want to transfer now is so i want to transfer this particular asset to a different asset maybe that had could be that i want to transfer it to the generator so how i can transfer this asset to the generator asset so the transaction to transfer asset from one asset to another is the transaction code is abumn so you need to execute this transaction abumn enter so once you enter you need to select the asset over here which you will be transferring and to which asset it will be transferred to so now i will be taking over here existing asset i want to transfer it to generator so i want the motor value of 50000 to be transferred to generator so for that i need to give the document date posting date and the asset value date over here so suppose I give the date over here as 1018014 so now I want to transfer this particular asset in the date of 1st of August or maybe uh, sorry it can be a different date I want to transfer this to I want to transfer this to on 1st of November or no this is actually the 1st of August so I want to transfer this asset on 1st of August to a different asset that is I am transferring this asset from motor to generator we need to go to the additional detail over here you need to put the document type that could be AA if you want you can put any reference over here then we can go to the parcel transfer as well so there is option of transferring parcel or you can transfer the hundred percent of the value or you can transfer the parcel value it could be could be thirty percent sixty percent eighty percent whatever it feels uh, it, there is a requirement in the business you need to if that particular transferring of asset the asset which is transferred belongs to a prior year then you need to select the prior year acquisition if that asset has been purchased in the current year you need to select the current year acquisition so now over here I would be transferring a part of the total asset suppose out of fifty thousand dollar I want to transfer only thirty thousand dollars so once I have put these details, now what I will do is I will go to simulate over here. So once I simulate this entry, the system will show me the preview of the entry which will take as a part. So this is the transaction which will take place. The asset will get transferred from one to the another. So you can see that the motor asset will be deducted by thirty thousand dollar and it will get added to the generator part so if it 
feels okay to you you can go and you can save the entry and the document will get posted and it get transferred from motor to the generator so you can see the asset transaction posted with the document over here if you want to see the document even you can see that or you can check the assets as well so we can see the asset with a w 0 1 n <coughs> so you can go back and you can check the value of the assets now that the asset has reduced this is motor now earlier it was fifty thousand dollar you can see now the thirty thousand dollar has been transferred from to an another asset so the actual asset value has became twenty thousand dollar over here and if you check the other asset that is generator you can check the value over here that the generator value has increased from zero to thirty thousand dollar as thirty thousand dollar of asset got transferred from motor to the generator so moving to the next business process that is asset retirement there are three different types of retirement in it one is sale to the customer another is sale without customer and then there is scrap of assets so asset retirement is the removal of an asset or a part of an existing asset from the asset portfolio this removal of a fixed asset from the asset portfolio is posted from a bookkeeping perspective as an asset retirement in asset as retirement the removal of an asset by sale as well as by any resulting revenue can be posted in a single step at the same time we can choose to post to account receivable that is to a customer account as well so the first asset retirement part we will be doing is asset sale with a customer the first case of retirement so in this if the financial accounting module is being used to sell the asset the system enables you to post the entry to accounts receivable in the customer master account the revenue posting as there will be revenue involved and the asset retirement in one step an indicator in the posting transaction will determine that the system post the asset retirement after the revenue posting the prerequisite for sale of asset for this is in the filled status group of the revenue account in the financial accounting to which the revenue should be posted that we'll see right now so in this we need to go to the transaction code that is you can see the asset retirement with customer with transaction f-92 so we need to go to the transaction f-92 enter so in this case we will be doing the asset retirement for this transaction from this particular transaction when using the standard transaction over here we need certain standard transaction types as well from which the system automatically creates the profit posting or loss postings so now we want to retire suppose we purchased the asset and now we want to retire that asset suppose so we want to retire that particular asset suppose on on today's date that is 6th 12 2014 you need to take the company code the posting date the currency and now here you can put the reference number as well retirement and you can take over here is the 01 01 is the customer to whom you are selling your asset so as to remove from your asset portfolio so over here we need to select an asset account
so we'll be taking this asset this customer as an customer over here to whom we are selling the asset once you have selected this you have to click on to the enter on the keyboard it will take you to the next step now over here you need to decide at which price you are selling your asset to the customer so we first need to decide which asset we want to sell so for that we need to go to AW01N enter now suppose I am retiring my the first asset which I purchased over here the asset which I purchased in this case was of $50,000 out of which $30,000 was transferred to another asset so now I want the remaining 20,000 assets part to be sold from this particular asset so what you need to do is you need to go to the transaction you need to put the amount at which amount you are looking to sell that particular asset so you need to assign the amount at which I would be selling so suppose I want to sell the asset to the customer at $10,000 you need to decide the business area if there is any and you can put the assignment or the text over here sold to Xerox LLC now this is the debit part now moving on to the credit part where we need to credit the asset over here so for crediting the asset we need to define 5050 over here then we need to take the GL over here so the GL which will be taken over here will be a clearing GL that is a sale of asset account will be taken over here when we sell an asset we always take the sale on asset GL over here so that the sale can be processed to this particular GL so the credit side of the posting key to be used should be 50 and the GL account should be given as sale of asset account. So sale of asset account we created that is it. So once you have taken that particular part now you need to decide the transaction type over here. So this is what we were talking about that this is a standard transaction type with the help of this transaction the system automatically creates a profit or a loss posting as well as a revenue clearing entry in addition to the assets and the accumulated depreciation correction posting so that the whole asset or the part of the asset which has been now retired will be settled and at the same time it's all accumulated depreciation whether there is a loss or profit on sale of the asset will also get settled in this case so the transaction type which you need to take at the time of retiring the asset is two sixty because we are retiring a current year acquisition asset if it was it used to be a previous year acquisition retirement then the transaction would be different but if it is a current year acquisition transfer then the transaction type would be 260 so you need to take this particular transaction over here and now once you have ticked you have to click on to the enter you need to go to over here to the amount and you need to fill the amount what amount you are looking to at which you are looking to sold now you need to go to this more transaction okay so there is supposed to be one tab of uh, asset retirement over here that is not reflecting as of now you can go to the more transaction over here no there should be an option of asset retirement that's not reflecting so let's post the transaction again at once f-92 we have to take the document date 
the posting date and the company code currency and all now we'll be going to the posting key 01 and we will select a customer over here and then enter we can move to the second screen where we need to take the amount at which we are looking to retire that particular asset at the business area if there are any and you can put the text for your clarification as well so once you have taken this first part now we need to take the debit entry for that we need to take the posting key that is 50 and now over here in the account you need to take the sale on asset account which will work as a clearing GL for asset retirement so over here we will be taking the asset on sale account which is basically a clearing account on the basis of which the clearings of assets retirement take place so you need to select this GL over here so once you define this GL over here you also need to select the transaction type over here as said the transaction type is the standard transaction type by SAP with this transaction the system automatically creates a, a profit posting or a loss posting as well as the revenue clearing element in addition to the asset gross value and accumulated depreciation correction posting so what the transaction type does is it pass an accumulated entry with respect to the gross value the total accumulated depreciation till date the profit or loss on sale of asset depending upon what is the sale amount and it settles the asset respectively with that particular adjustment entry so the transaction type which we will be taking is 260 so the transaction type varies as per the kind of retirement you have been doing so the retirement which we are doing is retirement of current year acquisition with revenue so we are selling it for a revenue and the asset which belongs is belongs to the same year that is the current year acquisition part that's why we will be selecting the transaction 260 so once you select this transaction over here you need to click on to the enter again and it will take you to the next screen here you need to take the amount and now after the amount here you need to take the asset the asset which you are retiring so the asset which is which I would be retiring is we can go and we can search for the asset so the asset which we will be retiring is motor and now I want to retire this asset so for retiring purpose I would need to select this asset retirement over here and then you can put the text as well and as you select this asset retirement over here and when you enter so as to reach to the next screen a new screen will come to you okay you can take this off enter so you can see a new screen has been pop up to you when you, I selected the asset retirement over here we don't need to take the asset in this case if over here on this tab so when we'll be retiring we'll be retire we'll be selecting this this option over here and when we select this option and click on to the enter button on the keyboard the it will take us to the next pop-up over here pop-up screen here we need to put the details that is the asset number which we will be retiring so we'll be selecting the asset from over here the asset is motor we need to take the asset value date so we are retiring onto the current date so that is what we will be taking over here and now is this a complete retirement or it is a partial parcel retirement if it is a parcel requirement you don't need to select this tab if it is a complete retirement then I would be selecting this option over here as complete retirement so in case of parcel re retirement you need to you do, don't need to select this option over here so as a complete retirement I will be selecting this tab over here so once you have selected this tab and you have filled in the details now you can go and you can continue okay now this screen has been done now what we can do is we can go and we can 
have a look of the preview of the entry while simulating the transaction so click on to the simulate and once you simulate you can see the screen shows you a different number of entries in it so if you check this entry the customer is debited with ten thousand dollars because we are selling this asset at ten thousand dollars whereas the sale of asset has been first credited with ten thousand later on this has been debited why because this particular sale of asset account works as a clearing account in this that is what we need to take as a process now moving to the next is the the asset value over here is now only twenty thousand dollars so that is what is reflected over here the asset value get decreased by twenty thousand dollars however its depreciation has been taken as twenty five hundred dollars if you can check so this depreciation is over here and then there is a loss of seventy five hundred dollars on sale of this asset why because twenty thousand dollar was the cost of the machine of the motor and twenty five hundred dollar is the depreciation so its asset net value as on date is seventeen five hundred dollars out of which i am selling it at ten thousand dollars so there is a loss of seventy five hundred dollars so this is what the transaction entry has been done and this is how the asset retirement transaction entries will always look like so you have to understand this transaction where it has got number of different line items you can see there are six line items in it so this is how the retirement while with the customer takes place now we can go and we can post this entry and once the entry is posted we'll see the effect so the document has been posted over here and once the document is posted now we can go back to uh, to check this asset so we can have to refresh this so that the values will get updated on this particular for this particular asset over here so when i click on to the fresh asset refresh you can see the changes the changes shows that the acquisition value has now become zero why because the whole complete retirement of asset has been done so you can see below that now a new transaction over here has been added with twenty thousand dollars as a minus sign and you can see the transaction types are different over here for uh, this is retirement of current year acquisition with revenue where the retirement revenue is ten thousand dollar the depreciation on the retirement asset is $2,500 and the loss is $7,500. So this is how your retirement with customer take place like. So you can see over here there are different transaction types depending upon the kind of a nature of transactions you will be handling. For external acquisition the transaction type is 100. For transferring the asset within the current year from one asset to another asset the transaction is 370 for retirement of asset with revenue to a customer the transaction type is 260 so the same way it varies as per the different nature of transactions you will be doing so this is how your asset retirement is done with customer that is fdas 92 and even we have checked the reports with AW01N how the changes took place in your asset account. So now we'll be moving to the next that is now sale of assets without customer when there is no customer involved. Sale of asset without customer. In this the asset sale is the removal of an asset or again a part of an asset from the asset portfolio but the difference is we are not selling it now to a customer but we are selling it to a third party outside who has nothing to do with the company so this removal of asset or a part of the asset is again posted from a bookkeeping perspective as an asset retirement the scenario in this case is SAP provides the following types of retirement an asset is sold resulting in revenue being earned 
so we had there is no customer involved so the the revenue will directly get into the revenue account and the revenue earned is manually entered in the transaction an asset is sold resulting in revenue being earned the sale is posted against a clearing account just like in the previous entry again over here there will be a clearing account that is sale of asset account the asset has to be scrapped with no revenue earned that can be a different case which we will be dealing after this an asset is sold to an affiliated company or maybe to a person it may vary but we have nothing to do with that so now we can go to this particular transaction asset sale of asset without customer the transaction code for that is a b a o n so going to the transaction a b a o n enter now over here you need to first select the asset over here the asset number which we will be retiring so now this particular asset motor has no value because we have completely retired it so what we can try now is we can take the value from the another any another asset like the another asset could be generator in which there is an amount of thirty thousand dollars so suppose I retire out of thirty thousand dollar a parcel retirement I will be doing without customer so you can see the screen the transaction is enter asset transaction asset sale without customer you can even check the transaction code over here it has been reflecting over here in the footnote so now I will be putting the asset over here So I will be selecting generator. You need to put the document date. Suppose I am retiring the asset on today's date. So the date will be 06-12-2014 and the same date I will be putting as asset value date and in text I can put the narration over here for clarification. I would be partially retiring the asset with 10,000 as a value so now over here you will put the manual revenue revenue over here at which revenue you want to retire this particular asset without a customer so we need to assign that so the revenue that was realized due to sale on an asset or a part of an asset the system determines the gain or loss or the difference between the revenue and the net book value of the asset being retired when the retired retirement involves acquisition from prior fiscal year or the acquisition from current fiscal year it will vary and the system also divides the sales revenue proposed netly so whatever the manual revenue will be defining over here suppose I define the manual revenue over here as 10,000 at which I want to sell my asset as a parcel part so I will be putting up over here 10,000 and I will be going to the additional details now and in additional detail you need to put the document type the document type will be AA now going to the parcel details over here you need to put the parcel retirement so my asset value in this case now over here is of 30,000 what I want now that the 15,000 a value of assets should be retired and the revenue from that will be ten thousand dollars which we have initially marked over here at ten thousand so fifty percent sale of uh, the asset will be done that is the parcel out of thirty thousand fifteen thousand value of asset will be sold at ten thousand dollar now over here we need to decide out, out of these two the asset which we are retiring refers to a prior year acquisition or current year acquisition so if you select a wrong one the system will give you an error so we need to select the current year acquisition because the asset which we are retiring belongs to the current year so once you have done this now after doing that we need to go to the transaction over here that is to simulate now once you click on to the simulate 
it will reflect you the transaction entries so you can see the entry over here now in this case this particular asset that is the generator has been deducted by fifteen thousand dollars this is the same amount which we have put up in the parcel column because i want my asset to be partially retired not fully there's a depreciation on that to the extent of one three seven five dollars as per the period the asset has been used for and the revenue which will be generated out of it will be ten thousand dollar that is what a sales of asset revenue account and there is a loss of on sale of asset of three six two five so the net value of the asset is fifteen thousand dollars minus one three seven five out of that i am selling it at ten thousand dollars so i am having a loss of three six two five so this is how you will be retiring the asset without customer there is no customer involved in it because this is the sale without any customer so it directly goes to the sales of asset account as a revenue now you can go and you can save this entry over here and as we save a document is generated as you can see on the footnote so once the document is generated now we can go back again and we can check our asset over here by refreshing the asset tab over here and we'll see the values which is reflecting over here is 30,000 and 3,000 whereas the transactions over here is only one these things will get updated as we refresh it over here so once refreshed you can see the changes so you can see the changes now the value has decreased from 30,000 to 15,000 dollars and the depreciation again has reduced because the amount has reduced for the asset and over here you can see the asset value date and this retirement of asset for current year acquisition where the $15,000 of assets has been retired at $10,000 where the depreciation is 1375 and there is a loss of $3625 so if you add all those all three columns together it will give you equal to fifteen thousand dollars so this is how the asset sale can be done without a customer where we put the revenue in the manual revenue column and that goes to a sale of asset account and this is how the sale of asset with customer is done so we have done with the sale of customer and sale of without customer as of the retirement now we'll be moving to the next is the scrap sale so the scrap sale now will be coming up over here now the scrap refers to when an asset is exhausted or it has no usage it has passed off its life its life has been expired or maybe due to certain other reasons the asset is no more in the usable condition or there is no use of the asset we in that case scrap that particular asset and for that there is a different process for scrapping again that is scrapping of asset is known as retirement of asset by scrapping so for that we need to go to the transaction a b a v n so we will move up over here slash n a b a v n enter so you can see the the heading over here asset retirement by scrapping as you can see so in this we will be scrapping one of the part of the asset now i will be taking the same asset that is the generator and out of this generator i will be retiring some part of the asset as a scrap so i will be taking the document date and the document date will be of today's date 6 12 2014 even you can have a previous date as well it's not compulsory that we have to take today's date only it depends upon you that when that particular scrap has taken place it could be a month back it could be two months back it could be 10 days back or it could be today so it depends how you want to uh, go for the scrapping of that particular asset so now in this particular case there will not be any revenue generation that's why you will not find any field for revenue over here so in this you can put the text that suppose i am 
scrapping so scrap of asset now I'm scrapping a part of the asset not as a whole its gross value is suppose only five thousand dollars I am not scrapping the whole asset as of now so now I will move to the additional details in the additional still the document type will be AA you don't have to fill anything else in that you need to go to the parcel retirement now what I am doing is I'm left with let's check the value of the asset AW01N so you can see the asset value left is fifteen thousand dollars now out of this what I will be doing is I will be scrapping a part of this fifteen thousand dollars suppose I am scrapping only the part that is five thousand dollars of asset which is no use to me that being a part of the asset and that has been no usage or it due to certain wear and tear or unforeseen conditions it has become useless for me so I will be selling that part of the asset so that particular part of the asset will be taken up over here as a gross value in the amount posted so that is 5000 so that by 5000 as a gross the value will reduce and the profit and loss will be calculated on this $5000 value even if you want you have a doubt you can put the percentage or the quantity as well if there is any so we are taking the amount wise and now we are scrapping the current year acquired asset so we need to select the second option from current year acquisition so once you have done the same process we need to go to the simulate over here so once you simulate this entry over here you can see the the document which will be which has been previewed is the 5000 is the gross value and the depreciation till date is 558 dollar 33 cent and the loss on sale of asset is 5441 dollar 67 cents so this is much of amount of loss the asset will be bearing due to the scrapping of the part of the asset so once you go and you can save this entry again the same thing a document will be generated so the document was generated now we can go back and we can see the value over here in AW01N where it will show you all the details related to that particular asset so now over here once you refresh this transaction over here you will find the changes so you can see the changes took place and the 10, 15,000 value of asset now has decreased to $10,000 because I have scrapped the $5,000 of asset a part of the asset as scrap so by that the value has decreased by $5,000 over here and out of that there is no revenue generation over here there is the depreciation of $458.33 and now the loss of this much dollars has taken place so again over here you can see when we transferred the asset the transaction type was used as 330 when we retired the asset with revenue the, it was $260 and when we scrap the asset again the transaction type is 250 so this is how your different processes are being executed over here now what we are left with is the value of ten thousand dollars of assets so you can see the the net book value as of now for that asset after depreciation and the value adjustments is $8583.33 so this is what is left now moving on to have few of the reports which will show you the details of the assets different reports so there is one report called AR01 which shows you the asset values so we can go to this particular report AR01 and you can see what are the changes uh, in the report what is the value of the assets as a whole so it shows you the asset balances
so we can go and we can execute this report you need to take the uh, have to assign the company code over here and you need to put the reporting date till which date you want to see the asset values and then you can go and you can execute this report so once you execute it will show you all the list of assets so as of now you can see there is only one asset existing in the system the rest of the assets has got no value in themselves the asset motor has been completely retired that's why its value has become zero so now the generator has at present the generator has got ten thousand dollar of acquisition value its depreciation value is this much and its net book value is this much and the asset class with which it belongs to is 9300 similarly you can even do these testings you can create number of assets and you can post number of transactions to multiple assets and then you can execute this report and it will show you the huge list of assets with different values with their different depreciations and all so over here you can see this particular there is only one asset as of now so similarly you will be creating multiple assets and you will see the changes in that so now this is uh, the unit testing part now one particular point is left that is the depreciation run so the depreciation calculation in this every asset transactions in SAP system component immediately cause a change of a forecast depreciation as you have checked and seen with the number of transactions as we post a transaction the depreciation value changes corresponding to that however it does not immediately cause an updated update on the depreciation and the value adjustment account for the ledger account so the value which is reflected over here on this screen when the, on the transaction AW01N it doesn't mean that that value has been posted to the ledger account no they are just the planned depreciation is posted to the general ledger so these are the planned values these are posted to the general ledger account when we run the depreciation run so this is done periodically at every month end so you can see the transaction depreciation run the transaction is AFAB so when we execute this transaction AFAB the system post the planned depreciation which is reflecting in AW01N report to the general ledger accounts and on the basis of that your balance sheet and profit and loss statements are adjusted accordingly so now moving on to the depreciation run what we need to do is we need to execute the transaction AFAB so going to the transaction slash and AFAB enter now in this screen what you need to do is you need to first assign the company code second you need to assign the fiscal year third you need to assign the posting period for which you will be executing the depreciation so if I take the period as 01 and you need to select the planned posting run over here because we always go for the plan posting run now this particular report always runs with the test run over here you should not run the report without a test run test run gives you an idea that everything is okay in the report and there is no problem with the execution of depreciation in the system so now we will be executing to this report execute and once you execute it gives you a pop-up screen over here as do you want to continue the processing anyway yes so you can see there is certain amount of error reflected over here to you you can go and you can check this error with this error list so it says the number in 02 has not been created for depreciation type AF so we need to create a number range now so 
So we'll go to the transaction slash so FBN1 if you remember. We'll give the company code to it 1200. We can check whether 02 number range has been defined or not. You can see the number range has not been defined over here. So we need to go back and we need to define the number range. So we'll take Zero 02 the year 2014 and now over here I will be taking the number range over here so I have defined the number range enter save okay so the number range have been defined now now we can go back to this again and I need to execute it again so as to check that there is no error anymore in it. So executing again, yes. So now you can see the test run completed successfully. Even it shows you the number of assets and what will be the depreciation that will post to those particular assets if you select this list asset tab. So going to the execute part, yes. So it shows you that everything is okay but there is no document which can be created at in this particular period probably because we have not acquired any asset in this period and we have configured the system for the first time so there is no previous transaction or assets values in the system as well for this particular company code. So what we will be doing is we will be taking the another posting period that is 4 suppose and we can check with the same with test run active now I am going to the execute tab over here okay so it again gives an error it says that according to the posting you must should post the period 001 next okay so over here we need to go to so once you execute the depreciation posting run you will find that you need to go and you can schedule the background job so you need to go to the execute in background so once you go into the background there is a new screen which comes up to you that is output device over here you need to take the output device from over here the search options Normally the output device is LP01 which is standard defined by SAP itself. So this is the one which you will be using LP01. So once you select the device you need to go to continue. So it shows you again a screen that is formatting set to X underscore 65 underscore 132. You again need to continue this. And you can see now the new screen come up to you it asks you the state the start time for the depreciation run so what I want is to start the depreciation run immediately so I clicked on to the immediate if you want it to for a later time you can even schedule that job on a particular date and time as well now we need to go to the save option over here save it so once you save the screen gives you a message over here background job was scheduled for program RAP OS T2000 so you must have to take a note that this depreciation run cannot be executed foreground this can only be executed at the background and once it has been executed at the background a job has been created and on the basis of that job the depreciation is posted in the SAP system. So the job is created from the background as we have did earlier. Execute in background option over here. So this is how you will be executing your depreciation run. Now we'll move and we will check the background job schedule which have been scheduled. So for to check the job you need to go to the system over here and then you need to go to the own job over here so once you click on to the own job it will take you to the next screen so you can see now the next screen over here 
and in the screen you will find that the job name which was uh, reflected over there in the last screen you may take note R A P O S T 2 0 0 0 this name you have to search in that particular screen over here so you can see the report over here is reflecting to you this is the job which is active so once completed this active will come to as a finished part it's still in the active mode it's working and the depreciation calculation is going on so this is how you need to do and once it comes to finish your depreciation run is ok and completed for the system. So by running this depreciation run program the system automatically post the depreciation to all the assets doesn't matter how many assets are there in the, as, in the asset accounting it may have 500 or 1000 or 2000 all the uh, asset account will be posted with their respective depreciation amounts depending upon the depreciation key assigned to their masters so this is how you will be executing the depreciation run in the SAP system that is it so that is over here for your unit testing part once you have completed the depreciation run that means your process is over your unit testing is over and you have checked that each and every processes of yours are working fine they have been shown in the asset register that is the AW01N report as well how the values are updated and even if you want you can check the values in the ledger account as well how the values have floated to the real time in general ledger accounting so for that you need to go to FBL 3N enter you need to select the ledger account so you can see what we have we have did we did in plant and machinery so we can select this ledger and we can execute it so you can see over here the value in this asset is also 10,000 in generator which is refers to plant and machinery and the same value is real time is active over here as 10,000 so you can see over here different transactions have taken place for parcel retirement for scrap for sale to customers as a text we have mentioned this so as to easy to remember these what kind of a transactions they were so this is how you can check those particular assets ledger account as well that the values should be same so the if the values are same that means your asset account your asset class values are matched with your ledger values that is what the reconciliation is all about so this is it for the asset accounting in the next lecture we'll be doing asset under construction this is a small separate topic and it is slightly different from the asset accounting which we have done as of now so we'll work on this we'll study the asset under construction in the next training session till then thank you